Did you think I forgot you guys? Never. I would never forget you. How's everyone doing today? Oh, man. I was, I, I can't lie. I was running a little late. I was getting a little, getting a little ready. And all of a sudden, I was like, holy moly, guacamole. Look at what time it is. Oh, whew. hi, everybody. <laughs> Even sometimes this unicorn, she gets a little crazy. She gets a little ahead of herself. Look at this. Live demo. How to keep your bangs out of your face when that's all you have is bangs is to bobby pin them. That's right. That's what I'm going to do. And it's backwards, so it's very challenging, but it's going to be okay. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, that is a delight. Uh, let's see. Well, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Hi, Peter. How are you? I knew what I wanted to do. We see where mommy is, but I need to. Hey, Peter, do you think you could share this to the Storytime with Donna V and Friends page for me? Hi, TJ. Hi. You dreamt of a talking unicorn last night. That's because I'm right here in front of you. Look at this. Look at this today. Today's crazy hair day in unicorn land. You know, it's what it is. It is what it is. Guys, it is what it is. That's what I'm saying. Woo, I am so excited for a full water, a new straw. And guess what? The sun is shining here in Nutley. The sun is shining in Nut. I am in Nutley, New Jersey. Hi, you have a little unicorn puppet with you? That's amazing. I'm so excited. There's so many cool things that are happening right now, right? Hi, Lisa. Good morning. How are you? Yeah, I am so excited. I have a little, I have a unicorn light that my cousin gave me. Look at this. Ooh, isn't it pretty? I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I am so excited to be here today with you and your friends and your moms and your dads and your moms and your moms, dads and dads, single parents. What's up, Stephanie? Good morning. The sun is shining. We are here together and it's a happy morning. Good morning, Kevin. Yes, yeah, so it is, today is, is it Monday? It's Monday, right? Yes, it is. Hi, Tom. I didn't even get to write back to you. I know you messaged me, but I was getting ready to be here today to read to the kids. Hi, Daria. Good morning. And it's, yeah, my, you have crazy hair day too? Oh, your unicorn has crazy hair day. Good morning, Rick. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Mike. I love it. There's so many people coming. Good morning, morning, morning. You're working and watching at the same time. So I guess you're working from home, right? Good morning, Lori. Good Lauren. I'm seeing all these words together. I put Lauren and Tracy as one word and it came out Lori. Hi, Sophie. Good morning, Anne. Oh, Anne Sutton is here, my friend. Oh, I love her too. You guys are all my friends. I love it. There's so many cool people here. Good morning. I love it. While everyone's coming into the room, let's start our seated stretches. My favorite kind. My seated stretches. Because even if you're sitting, you can stretch. Good morning. I love it. Everybody's so friendly. My neck is still stiff. It's crazy, but it's a little bit better because I could turn a little bit more. Not going to stress it. Not. We're going to do some arm thingamajiggies. Oh, thank you. Hi, Jody. Good morning. Thanks for being here. It's like I said, it's a sunny day up here at Nutley, New Jersey. We are getting ready for some good books today, kids. I, I mean, I always do my little kid book, which is a bit of a repeat, and it's perfect because guess what? I think Sophie is going to like this one. You said she'd like it the other day. You might even want to borrow it. 
because it's about potty training. <gasps> Ooh, maybe somebody's going to get out of a diaper soon. Good morning, Mom. Good morning. So, let's do a little bit of a stretch this way. And then we're going to stretch this way. And then we'll stretch back this way, Sandy Pensiero. What's up? Yogi knocked down all of my stuff over here. My little unicorn, my social distancing buddies all laying on the ground over here. My goodness gracious. Get myself all set up here. I know. And Bloomfield, the sun's shining too. Ooh. Good morning, Mark. That's good stuff. I'm going to have to take another drink of water. I worked myself up into a sweat with those stretches. <laughs> I love water. I love water. I do. I like how everybody's saying hello to each other. It's so nice. So friendly, so polite. Isn't that great? It's great, 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 great. So we have to pick a letter of the day today. Does anybody have a letter that they might suggest? Daria, do you have a suggestion? Or Mark, somebody that hasn't suggested a letter before? Hmm. Good morning, Tom Freeman. How are you? Yeah, let's see what letter. Well, first of all, what is today's date? Today is, is it May? It's April. Is it April? I'm so confused. It's April. <laughs> so it's April. I think we've done A. I'm trying to look. I don't even know. But today's a six. So it's a six letter. A, B, C, D, E, F. We've done F. You think we should just do A for April? I don't think we did A. I don't remember. Yeah, today is April 6th. And that's so funny because I don't know. I always see those things. We've done you because we did it for universe. I think we might go with A. I kind of like that. I. It's so funny because I literally, I counted one, two, three, four, five, six. That's so bizarre because I've seen videos on that. Good morning, Dawn. And people are like, how do you start to count? And I was always like, I think I'm one, two, three. But you know what? I just, You should try that at home. With, I mean, maybe when you're not really thinking about it. But like, how would you count to six? Yes, we did A for Allie and autism. Okay, so we need another suggestion. Sorry, Daria, that's a great suggestion. But I'm going to write that down. Okay, because I'm using my trusty bag. So we did A. Okay, so we did F. We did D. We did U, T, S, A. We've done I. We did R. We did H. We did B for Betty. C for creativity. I like that one too. Hi, Eileen. Hi, Holly. L? We could do L. Let's do L. I don't know if we did L. We've done D. Yeah, I know. Who knew when I started this that I should start keeping track right away? I mean, who knew? I'm so excited that so many people have, you know, jumped on board and like are really excited and into this. It makes me so happy. And I think we, yeah, we've done H. So, okay. Let's see. Let me get my letters. and we, Oh, we did Y also. Thank you, Mom. Yep, we did Y. We did Y. I need a whiteboard. Oh, gosh. Good morning, Ryan. Oh, thank you. That's amazing. Oh, I love that. Now, anybody that has maybe kids there and they want a shout out, let me know because I'd love to give them a shout out. I don't know if we did W, but let's do... Let's do C for creative. Let's try that one. And then we could go to W maybe tomorrow. Okay. Since we already. Okay. So we'll do C. Okay. Because I know 
Okay, so look, it's I, it's literally a Quiddler game that I got on sale at TJ Maxx, and I found out I didn't know how to play it. So now I've been using. Yo, know, I don't think we did C because I would remember this. It's cool. C is for cool. All right, so we're gonna do C today, and you know what else C stands for? Yes, we did T for Trisha. Hi, Ronald. Good morning. We are doing C today. That's the letter of the day. The letter of the day today is C. So, C is a great letter. C stands for two of my favorite people in the whole world. My daughters, Carly and Courtney. Look at that. Carly and Courtney. Olivia. Hi, Olivia. Good morning. My brother has a daughter named Olivia. That's my niece. Hello, Olivia. Hi, Aunt Donna. And I think Joey's there, right? Little Joey's with Aunt Donna. But look, C is for cool cake. Ooh, I like cake. I love crimpets, but that's a K. Hi, Joey. Hi, Sean. Good morning. C is the letter of the day. And today, I'm going to drink some nice, cool water. Yum. Tastes so good. It's so good in your tummy. And you know what else is good for you? Vitamins. So let's do, let's have our little vitamin. Uh oh, my stiff neck. Wait, let me see. Here they are. I might have to order some more vitamins because when we first started this, it was a lot fuller. Man, oh man, oh man. C is for cookies. Let's see which color I'm going to get today. Is it going to be the color of my roots or my ponytail? And it's the root color. So now we all know, I don't like to chew in with my mouth open or talk with my mouth full of food. So, I think it's my favorite book. I don't know why I'm singing the ShopRite song. Did you hear that? That was a can can song. Da 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 da. Well, that's interesting. The things that stick in your head. So let's see. C is for cookie. Uh, C is for. C is for cookie lyrics. Do you remember that song? C is for cookie. It's good enough for me. C is for cookie. It's good enough for me. I, I know they didn't sing it like that, but that's okay. All right, so I know some kids went back to school online this week. I know, but there's some kids that incorporate me in their school day, like TJ and other kids that are young and they are in school. So those kids are here now and the other kids can catch us on the replay. C is for clarity. I like that. Very good. C is for clarity. Curiosity. Cupcakes, cozy, hmm, hmm, well, we're going to think of other C words, hi, Sad, aka Sad B, she's a DJ, guys, C is for um, cloudy, yeah, there's a lot of words that begin with the letter C, I'm going to check out now, there's a C word that you don't suspect because it sounds like something different because it sounds like ch, right? Creative. Hi, Luann. Good morning. Well, let's see right now. <whistles> Raise a sharp. What's up, my friend? So I'm going to look right now in my favorite book. And compassion. That's a great one. Oh, you want me to call you DJ still? Okay, DJ. I'll call you DJ. I'll do it. I thought it was just for April Fool's Day. Okay. Oh. Let's see what we can read today for a good little lesson from one of my favorite books. Okay. Here we go. You ready? 
At this very moment, there are people only you can reach. Some of whom may have chosen this very lifetime, hoping you'd be in theirs. That's so nice. I'm going to read it one more time. Are you ready for this? Because it means a lot for us here together. I think so. At this very moment, there are people only you can reach. Some of whom may have chosen this very lifetime hoping you'd be in theirs. It's not a coincidence, see, coincidence, that we're here together. I don't believe so. I believe that we are meant to be here together. I really do. There's no coincidences. And like we always talk about, boys and girls, right now, I know because of social distancing, it's it's really difficult sometimes you want to be able to shout out to friends and see them and have play dates and maybe you miss your grandparents, your granny, your grampy, your nana, your papa, moms, dads. You want to be able to give them a hug and it's not always that easy. But like I always say, you have to get yourself a little social distancing buddy, right? This is my social distancing buddy. Olivia, maybe you have a little stuffed animal that you can use, right? This is my buddy and we're friends. And now I know because we've quarantined together that I can hug him without a problem. So maybe anytime you're sad or you're missing hugging somebody that you can't hug because maybe you have a mommy and a daddy that are not married anymore and you live with just one. And, or maybe, you know, you just... One of them might be a nurse or a doctor or somebody's a long haul trucker and maybe somebody's not there. So it's really nice to have something like this. I call him my social distancing buddy. And when you need a hug, kids, you get one of your little stuffed animals and you know what you do? You give him a hug. Maybe what you could do, Zoom or FaceTime your aunts and uncles or your grandparents and you could tell them that when you're hugging the bear, you're really hugging them. Right? So you can be safe and healthy and still get your feelings out. It's really important. As a matter of fact, good morning, Jim. My social distancing buddy has a social distancing buddy. We found this one day when we were in the room, and it happens to be, it was Courtney's when she was little. This is Piggy, and this is Bartholomew. He's in all my books. Hello, Vin. So I'm going to set them aside. So that you know what we can do next, right? TJ or DJ, what do we do next? You remember? Oh, my neck is so stiff. Hmm, what do we do, DJ? Daria, Mom, Peter, anybody out there remember what we do next? We breathe in our intentions, guys. So, we are going to read, that's very funny. So C, I really liked yesterday when we had the letter I and what we did was we made an I am statement. So that's what we're going to do today again. It really worked out well. So we breathe in for three to settle ourselves down so that we can focus on reading because sometimes it's difficult when you're still all like ah, to actually relax and read. And it's also a good practice to do when you miss the stretching mom. That was because that was before and Oh, yeah, DJ? So I know you have your social distancing buddy's name is Chicago. And if I remember correctly, it's a raccoon. And your social distancing buddy has a social distancing buddy, which is a unicorn. I love it. That's right, Sonia. We're going to breathe. Okay? <clears throat> so let's do it. So we'll start with an I am statement. You add whatever it is that you want to say on the way out. Whatever resonates with you. So for me, I'm going to do I am and I'm going to do lucky. I'm lucky. I'm lucky that you're here. Hi, Rocco. Thank goodness you're here because I think you wanted to do a book about a fly. And I'm doing it today. How about that? Okay, changing time. Okay, good. Perfect. So we're going to do an I am statement for three times. And breathing in and then out. You could choose whatever it is that you want to say today. I chose. I choose... I'm going to say lucky, okay? Okay, ready? I am lucky. I am 
lucky. I am lucky. One more time for good measure. I am lucky. Ah, now I'm relaxed. Good morning, Diane. So you know, we read the first book is a small book for little children. C is for children. It's our letter of the day. Very nice, Peter. I am loved. <clears throat> Today's little book includes my little bear, Bartholomew. I love this little guy. And the reason I always like to go with the small books first, and I tell everybody, is it's really important for little children that are watching the repetitive books. And I like that. I am not affected by the germs. I love that. So, as always, when I read, I'm going to turn off my um, notifications so that this way I can focus on my book and see the pages because otherwise the notifications are right there in front of them. But it's great for little kids. Okay, let's get some potty training done while we're in our quarantine. How about that? <clears throat> One morning, George padded quietly over to Bartholomew's bed to see if he was awake. He asked softly, Are you awake, Ba? Nah, said Bartholomew. George asked, Are you up, Ba? Nah, said Bartholomew. So cute. Yogi. Do you need your potty, Ba? Nah. Nah, 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 said Bartholomew. He kicked his potty. Hey, Yogi. Come over here. Yogi's biting his feet because he has allergies, and it sounds not good. It sounds like I have a gopher over there. On your potty, George said with a big voice. I tell you, sometimes adults get upset. They yell. The voice is huge. It can be scary. Look how little Bartholomew is, and look how big that voice is. Especially nowadays, sometimes parents get really frustrated. And sometimes kids get really frustrated. There's a lot of stuff going on right now. And we have to try to practice patience. Maybe try the breathing exercise. Before you react, try to come within and settle yourself down. It's really good practice. Bartholomew sat on his potty and he tried. Oh, he's trying. Oh, he tried, he tried, he tried, but nothing happened. So, <sighs> nah, said Bartholomew in a little voice. Never mind, said George. Out you go and play and be good. Look at George. So cute. He's trying. Nah said Bartholomew, and he went off. But then suddenly, Bartholomew thought, on your potty, on your potty. He ran, and he ran. He ran as fast as he could. And he reached his potty. Just in time. Ah. Just in time. Really. And then he padded proudly off to find George, who gave him a great big hug. See? So important. Sometimes when you gotta go, you gotta go. Hey, Kathy Palmer's watching. C is for Kathy. C is the letter of the day, Kathy. And Kathy, my friend Kathy, spells her name with a C. I 
I was wondering if the Centivans were going to be on because Caitlin is a C. I don't know if they're on. You guys ready for another book? I'm excited. This book is on loan from the Cheche family. Again, their name starts with a C. Well, their last name. Ella lo loaned me the books. Ella painted me a painting. Yogi, I hear you. I wish you would come over, but he's just not in the mood today. Sometimes we're not in the mood. That was yesterday for me. Okay. Remember, boys and girls, I've not read these books before. So, this one looks like it could be a fun one. Uh-oh. It's got bugs all over it. There was an old lady who swallowed a fly. This is when I like to do this one. <laughs> that, that just cracks me up, the camera stuff. <clears throat> okay. Here we go. Ooh. Lots of fun illustrations. Uh-oh, it's a glossy book. Anytime the book's glossy, it gets very shiny and very glary. Okay, so I'm going to show you the... I'll show you the pictures after. There was an old lady who swallowed a fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll die, but it's only a fly. I think I'll cry. She gulped it out of the sky. Oh my. Look at that. You see, there's a cow, a bird, a dog, and a cat. They're all reacting. <laughs> Look at this spider web. You know what it says down here? It's a spider soup, super, a supper recipe. One fly, one hornet, two wasps, half a caterpillar, saute and worm juice until done and serve. <laughs> no thanks. There was an old lady who swallowed a spider. in her look at there's a is that a sticker oh look at this is the fly oh oh that wiggled and jiggled and tickled inside her and look now there's a spider in her belly see that because peach She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll die. Sigh. Gone, <laughs> gone to the bye and bye. Again, the cat and the dog have a lot to say. <gasps> there was an old lady who swallowed a bird. Now she swallowed a bird. Tweet, 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 tweet. See the spider and her the spider and the fly in her belly? How absurd! She swallowed a bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll die. She'll leave us high and dry. <clears throat> now the cow's back involved. What a strange old lady she is.
There was an old lady who swallowed a cat. What? See in her belly? There's a bird, a spider, and a fly. She's hungry. Imagine that. She swallowed a cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why. She swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll die. I hope it's a lie. This is a very bizarre book, boys and girls. Uh-oh, it's about to get even more bizarre because see all the pictures of dogs? There was an old lady who swallowed a dog. Look, in her belly. Let me hold this. I don't want, the, the book is kind of, the binding's a little broken and I don't want it to rip. There's a cat, there's a spider, a bird, and a fly in her belly. Oh my! She, she went to swallow. Wait a minute. Okay, this lady. I don't know how she. Wait, do you see the. Let me show you the picture of her. Look at how much bigger she is. She went whole hog to swallow the dog. Look at her. She barely fits on the page. She swallowed the dog to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll die. There's a tear in my eye. Please don't say she's gonna swallow a cow. Is she? Look at the cow. Oh my goodness. You guys, there was an old lady who swallowed a cow. Look at this. What the heck? What in the haystacks was she thinking? I don't know how she swallowed the cow. Look at her eyes. They're going in different directions. That's got to be painful. She swallowed the cow. <clears throat> Excuse me. She swallowed the cow to catch the dog. She swallowed the dog to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll die. I'd rather have ham on rye. And she had a frog on the sly. She did it in one try. Me oh my. Guys, I don't know if you're laughing over there, but this is serious. Whenever you see an animal on the page before, you know she's going to swallow it. There was an old lady who swallowed a horse. Weirdly, my stomach just growled. Look, there's a cow. In her belly, a cat, a dog, a spider, a fly, and a bird. Oh my gosh! Ready? She can't even stand up anymore. She's on her side. She is, I can't believe it. 
see? She died, of course. It was the last course. I'm filled with remorse. It is such a loss. She had no time to floss. What's left to say? We'll miss her dearly. She missed out on the sauce. Even the artist is crying. This is an interesting book. The moral of the story, it says, never swallow a horse. I never knew. It says, there was an old lady who swallowed a fly as a favorite American folk poem that was first heard in the United States in the 1940s. Several different versions from Georgia, Colorado, and Ohio were collected for Hoosier Folklore, December 1947, but its true author remains unknown. Very interesting. Hmm. That's interesting. I think that's very confounded, confusing. That's a calamity that she died. Hi, Lou. How you doing? Good morning. Sean Morton's mom's watching, everybody. Okay, so now we have the third and final book. Now, I don't know if Anne is still there. Anne Sutton, are you there? Because I must have channeled you this morning when I was picking my books. I'm going to have some water. Anne Sutton, please, are you still there? Please let me know. And I think Ruthie's there. I just think I saw a little bubble of her um, profile picture come up. I don't know who's on right now because a lot of times it doesn't show me. And I'd love to give you a shout out, but I never quite know. So, but I'd love to know if Anne is still there because I'm about to read a book about her favorite, favorite animal. She loves pugs. She has a couple. Water time. Drink your water. Stay hydrated. It is so important. It is. <clears throat> okay. Hi, DJ. I know you're still there. You already told me that you would never leave. Big hearts. Big hearts. Okay, are you ready? This is a silly one. I hear Yogi. He must know it's a dog book. Yogi! Come here, boy. Yogi! No. Pugs are very cute. They also go... They make a weird noise and they breathe. That was weird. I feel my breath on my lip. I've never felt that before. Wait, let's try it again. Only air on this side is coming out. That's weird. That's so interesting. Try that one at home. That is the coolest thing ever. <sighs> yeah, I only feel it on one side. Hi, Jackie. What's going on? You're here just in time for our third book. Okay, I'm so excited. It's called Pig, the Winner. They do, they do, they go. It's about a pug, but I think he thinks he's a pig. We're gonna find out together, okay? So, all right, are you ready? I have to turn off my comments so I could see the book, okay? I'll be back. Pig the Winner by Aaron Blaby. Oh, you see that? Pig came first. It's an award for third place for Trevor. Whoever Trevor is, we'll find out when we get into the book. But Pig came first.
How cute. Look at how cute. Best in show. How cute. Pig was a pug. And I'm so and I'm sorry to say, if he didn't come first, it would ruin his day. Yes, Pig was a winner. He just had to win. And nothing would stop him. Oh, where to begin? How cute. Oh my goodness gracious. <gasps> Believe it or not, he was quite hard to beat. And the reason was simple. Yes, Pig was a cheat. Dun, dun, dun. <sighs> Look at his foot in the wiener dog's face. He's like, boom, back it up, buddy. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious, this is a funny book. I like it already. But if he did lose, he'd throw a pink fit. He'd scream and he'd cry and he just wouldn't quit. <laughs> look at the look on the face of that wiener dog. It is so funny. I can't. He'd sob and he'd sulk with a quivering chin till you gave up and said to him, okay, you win. Oh, oh that's funny. But as soon as you said it, He'd clap and he'd stamp and he'd rub it in loudly that he was the champ. Do you know anyone like that, boys and girls? That's not very nice. Not nice. Not nice. He's like, what? he's dabbing. What? <laughs> Who <laughs> Trevor would say to him, let's just have fun. But Pig would reply, it ain't fun till I've won. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness. Look at how cute Trevor is. And look at Pig. It ain't fun till I've won. It looks like that would be his voice. You know what I mean? Oh my goodness. So one night at supper, Pig shouted with glee, Who could eat faster? I bet that it's me. I mean, look at him. He looks like he's pretty professional at eating. Even his bowl says mine. And look at how cute little Trevor is. Little Trevor's so cute. Oh, Trevor, I just want to pinch your little face. Trevor said shyly, I don't want to race. I don't want to race. But Pig had yelled, Go! And was stuffing his face. Oh, look at Trevor's eyes. That is so funny. This is such a good book. <laughs> he wolfed down his food. He gobbled his kibble. His face was awash with biscuits and dribble. He chopped up three sausages, all of them whoppers. Then he munched through his doggy treats, gnashing his choppers. He swallowed it all in a minute or less, but something went wrong. Do you know? Can you guess? Look at him. Look at him. He's a maniac. Yogi. Come here, buddy. I'm reading about dogs. You want to come over for the end of the book? Nope. <gasps> because he was busy stuffing his hole, Pig didn't notice he swallowed his bowl. Look at Trevor looking at him with, like, disgust. Look, he swallowed his bowl. I mean, who knew? 
when I picked these books, they both would have gluttony as the underlying theme. <laughs> Come on, Yogi. Come on, buddy. You could do it. Come say hi to everybody. Come here. Oh, I got you. Oh, look at my little puppy. Look at him. He's so cute. We're taking a little time out to say hi to you. This is Yogi, everybody. Say hi, Yogi. Hi. Oh, my goodness. I love you. Even though he cries sometimes, I still love him. Okay, okay. Go ahead. Go lay down. He's so... See? Cranky. He's cranky. He's a little cranky. But I love you. You guys want to see him? Look. <laughs> Where's he going? Oh! He wants to be in that... He, he knocks up... He just messes everything up. He's like having my stinky little brother home. <laughs> I'm just kidding. When we were little, we mess up my stuff. You guys have brothers and sisters that do that? Okay. Back to the book. Lucky for Pig, Trevor knew what to do. He squeezed out the bowl before Pig could turn blue. You know what? He gave him the Heimlich. I did that for my brother when he was little. He was choking on a candy. Boom. But Pig didn't thank him. He just said, I win. I don't know if I like this guy. Then the bowl bounced right back. Ready? And knocked Pig in the bin. <laughs> Plop. Right into the old garbage. Look at this. There's banana peel. And I don't know if Sean's still watching, but hey, look at There's some more of what we talked about. Interesting. That is the body of a fish. Boom. These days it's different, I'm happy to say. Pig's not the winner each time that they play. Look, they're playing cards. Oh my goodness. He's big as the lady that ate the fly, the cow, and all that stuff. He plays to have fun, and his tantrums have ceased. Yes, Trevor can win now. Well, sometimes at least... Look at him. He's holding cards behind his back. He's got the aces. My goodness gracious, guys. That is just... Do you, you know somebody in your life that, you know, sometimes it's frustrating because they just have to be the winner all the time. They can't share. It's really unfortunate. I know winning is really important to some people, but there's a lot of times lessons in losing. Hi, John. How are you? Good morning. Right? It's upsetting. Sometimes when people don't let other people win, everybody has to have a turn. Everybody has to have a turn. I mean, I'm not talking about participation trophies or anything because everybody should always want to participate. But, you know, the person that your biggest competition with in this world is yourself. You always want to be better than you were the day before, boys and girls. That's the most important, you know? Don't worry about what the other person's doing. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. You have to worry about what you're doing, that you're doing the right thing, that you are polite, that you are kind, that you say please and thank you, and then don't worry about what the other people are doing. It's not an easy lesson. I'm still trying to learn it myself at this age. But it is an important lesson. So don't see, compare yourself to others. Be your own C champion. That's the most important part. Being your own champion. 
So Pig, the pug, unfortunately, he did a lot of not nice things to get to be able to be the winner. And honestly, we want to make sure that you change for yourself and no one else to be your own winner. That's a good moral of the story. And, you know, that's important. So let's take a moment to find one more lesson and then we're going to breathe. I think it's important. Hmm. Let's see. This is perfect. The concepts of destiny, fate, luck, coincidences, and accidents are all contrary or subordinate to the involatile principle of thoughts become things and will therefore always fail to fully explain the life you lead. Meaning that nothing is a coincidence. Nothing. You can create, see, create anything you want, any destiny you want, any future you want. You know you can. So just don't get in your own way. Okay? So let's finish up with an I am statement because I love that. We're going to do the I am and you say whatever you want. I am going to say I am. Hmm. I am. Try to think of a C word. I am creative because I have a whole day ahead of me and I need to. Come up with some creativity. Be creative and compassionate and continue to be courageous. I love that one. Okay? Are you ready? Here we go. <clears throat> I am creative. I am I am creative one more time. I am creative. There we go. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here and spending time with me. As always, I'm Donna V and I'll see you next time tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Well, we'll read some more books. We'll come up with a new letter of the day. Take our vitamins, drink our water, and head off to the day with a really great attitude. DJ, I'll see you in a minute, okay? I'm going to put the link in the bottom of this. And if anybody would like to have kids, Olivia could come. And if they would like to go in to do a little bit of a Zoom time, Give me a couple of minutes to set up and we'll have, you know, five, 10 minute talk and that'll be it. Okay. Awesome. Cool. See you in the morning. Love you.